everybody. Today I'm going to be filming the week of Monday, January 15th through Sunday, January 21st, 2018 in my Erin Condren hourly neutral planner. Now this is part of my plan as you go month, but Sundays generally my bullet journal, I just use it to reference checking things off to do my challenges. I don't spend a lot of time in there on, on Sundays. Mondays are my bullet journal setup days. At the end of the video, I will take a couple of minutes and do my challenges in my bullet journal, but I'll let you know when that's about to start. Now I have this kit. I'm pretty sure I got for Black Friday from Chrissy Hand Designs. I think it's called Sea Glass and it's really pretty. I've got these washi tapes from Simply Gilded. I think it's Aqua, has holographic foil, and then these couple of little skinny washies from who the hell knows, either Michaels or a co-op. So I've got a bunch of appointments this week that I need to get in for my planner and get it all set so that I can actually have a productive week and try and reclaim some of the lost time. It seems to be the common fucking thread in my planner videos this whole month. I somehow keep either getting sick or having people around me sick. I need to get going right about me. I just like a fucking smudge and I don't know if that's because of me at some point or in the planner. I think I am going to run the bow washi across the top. I think that that's how I'm going to start this. And I'm going to completely run it across the top, I think. Now I'm also going to use the date covers from this kit, these guys. So I want to cover up the words. I don't like having like bits and pieces of words showing through and the date covers do not perfectly cover it because they are not made to perfect size with the hourly. Maybe I should put the date covers down first so I can kind of figure out sizing. I, I don't know. This is, this is where you get like all confused as to what you want to do. I kind of like the look of that. I'm gonna finish filling this in and then I will put, the, I'm trying to build this from top to bottom so I can see if I like the look of it or not. They're actually straight. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. All right, I'm gonna take this holographic washi tape and run it, give myself like one, two, three, four. I want kind of four lines for to-do list every day. I don't have any appointments before 10 a.m. this week, so blocking off to here for to-do list. Like, ultimately, I don't do the same exact thing every week. I get close to it, but I try to only do this kind of a to-do list marked off if I don't have appointments before like 9 a.m. I think that running the bows along the bottom is gonna be prettiness, I think. I like to balance out where the foil is if it's a kit that doesn't actually have foil in it, which this one doesn't. Now, I know this is not planning, this is decorating, but to me, planning and decorating go hand in hand. For some people, the decorating and the planning are kind of are kind of independent of each other, but for me, kind of how it looks is what helps me really decide. And what I think I'm gonna do is do what I've done in the past, I think I did it recently, where I have weather and meal plan on the side in these two kinds of boxes. Now that we see this kind of layout here, which I think I'm liking a lot, I am going to flip it over and do it to the other side. Yeah, I'm doing it to the other side. That is planner scandalous. and fleeing washi tape all over the place like I'm playing air hockey. I'm just randomly mixing these colors up so that the matchy matchy colors are not together. Reason being is that the amount of these to-do stickers of each color does not equal the the date covers. Like there isn't the same, there isn't a consecutive amount of date covers and if you understand what I'm saying, like the number of this color in the to-do and the number of this color in the date cover are not the same, if that makes sense. I'm gonna add in the stickers for meal planning and for weather, although I haven't meal planned for the week yet, of course. Guess we'll add on this to-do sticker while I'm getting the whole sidebar set up. Well, there we go. The basic setup is complete uh, for a week. I'm going to take a second and write in my weather for the week. I'm going to zoom in real quick so you can see my weather. We actually might have thunderstorms tomorrow. I'll believe it when I see it, but you know, I thought for posterity, I might as well show that now for the dates.
I'm gonna go day by day and add in appointments. We'll start with Monday. I'm actually gonna try and get some work done on Monday, but my husband is off. My kids don't have school. It is a day off because it is Martin Luther King Day. But as I am deeply in the hole due to feeling like chicken fried asshole this week, I was crooked again. <laughs> Shit, I keep fucking ripping it. Look at that. Look at that right there. I have no appointments tomorrow, but I know I already have some things I'm gonna have to take care of. So I might as well slap one of these money things. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave Monday as this because I have no appointments and I know I've gotta get things done, but I wanna see how well I'm feeling tomorrow before I really make specific plans. For Tuesday, I have a couple of earlier morning errands. Let me just find a appropriate little sticker at 10 a.m i have an appointment with our administrator at my church and then i need to go to the lab at my doctor's office and that is everything on tuesday specifically wednesday i have a live stream at 2 p.m that i'm going to use a sparkly box for because that's how i feel about my patrons I feel like they sparkle. And to go with it, I'm gonna use this little like fan girl with sparkles around her munchkins <laughs> from Once More With Love. Oh man, I kind of misjudged how much space I had. That's also the wrong time. Oh, well, it'll remind me if the actual stream is at two, but that'll just remind me to get ready for it. Holy shit, I am all over the place right now. Thursday, there is something I need to remember to do first thing in the morning, which is a big, a big freaking deal to get done. Otherwise, I'm gonna be like really hating my life if I don't do it ahead of time, which is to, so I'm gonna use this little round sticker as a kind of different shape. Sometimes if you're used to always using the same shape and I always use like event stickers and half boxes, using a different shape sometimes will pull your eye to something more. And this is just to remember to print agendas. Thursday evening next week is going to actually be pretty intense for me. So I am going to use a full box, I think, because there's going to be two kind of big deals, one right after the other. And I don't want to forget either of them. And they kind of go hand in hand with each other. I'm going to stick this sucker right here. I'm going to use this little big eyed munchkin looking all like, like shit. And I will just mark in the two things at the two times that they're happening. So we have my board meeting, which is offsite because right after that is an action that is happening with the community organizing group that we are partnered with. And that'll be happening in the same town as the board member whose house we're having the meeting at. The organizing group is working towards getting crosswalks at schools that are not served very well by the city. These really busy streets that these kids have to cross with no crosswalks or crossing guards. And so the, the community organizing group is going to have a meeting with the mayor and we want as many people as possible there to hold the mayor accountable for getting this shit done. Now Friday evening, I am hopefully gonna be able to go and have drinks with some planner friends. Use this little, it's always wine o'clock munchkin. I'm like munchkining the fuck out of this planner today. And then for the weekend, get this weekend sticker down. Saturday, we have no plans, which is fabulous. Doesn't mean we won't by the end of the week, but hopefully that'll give us a chance to catch up on some housework and some other things that have fallen by the wayside as we've all been sick or taking care of sick people or exhausted. I am going to grab one of these scalloped situations. Get that in here to mark in stuff for my church for the weekend. Is that crooked? That is fucking crooked as shit. Holy crap. I did not notice that going down like that was, and I ripped the paper again. Damn it. I think I'm gonna make the little like subheader, or at least for the thumbnail for this video. You've heard it here first, folks. I think I'm gonna make it Cindy Rips one. <sighs> and then I need to get the stuff in for next week's planner extreme Sunday afternoon as we do, where I will do my patron hangout and then the live plan with me. So I'm gonna letter those puppies in as the wrong pen. 
We have the patron hangout, which we do for my my $15 plus patron on the days I do a live plan with me. Our hangout we usually have like on a Saturday evening. We do a pregame before the live plan with me where we chat about, you know, get prepared for the thing that's coming and then do the thing. So I am going to use this plan sticker, slap that on here and then write in, that's the wrong pen. I am, I am all over the place right now. And not because like, oh, I used the wrong pen, but because it would, it's gonna smear. And so I gotta be real careful with this plan. I should just not, not close it. So here, you're hearing it here, you guys. 2.30 p.m. next Sunday, the 21st, will be my next live plan with me. I've already said I'm not going to be doing any kind of like things like stamping or whatever. It's just going to be a wine and plan with me. I'm not going to be whining, though that could happen. Since I'm doing the plan as you go month, I really am just, I don't want to have to deal with the aftermath of a very kooky looking week for these daily videos. Next month, I will punish my planner in some form or another. But that is everything I have to get in for the week. So my week is laid out. Tomorrow on Monday, you will see if you follow, I will do my bullet journal setup and then I will spend a few minutes with this section on Monday, getting my to-do list filled out for the week and all of that. Now I'm gonna take just a couple of minutes and enter my, whoa. A couple of minutes and enter my challenges in for today as a plan as you go and so if you are done if you just wanted the Erin Condren plan with me now is the time to skedaddle I am going to just get my shit entered in right about meow I got cords and highlighters and everything is just everywhere everything oh and there's my cat What I am grateful for right now is Hulu. And the reason I am grateful for Hulu is because I binge watched the entire first season of The Exorcist yesterday when I was laying on the couch trying not to puke, which you would think is probably not the best show to watch while you're trying not to puke. <laughs> but I really enjoyed the first season and I cannot wait to give the second season a try. I feel so good about having one of those blocked in, even though part of me is like a whole day, Cindy. A whole fucking season in one day, really? For the 14th, we have cappuccino. Don't those come if you buy them at like a nice coffee place and like a little mug? My interpretation of a cappuccino is somebody who doesn't drink them. And orbit. You draw fucking orbit. That thing's orbiting. Now we know. And the word for the day is, oh God, non-announcement. Non-announcement. Oh, I'm gonna run out of room. <gasps> ah, make it fit, make it fit. Just barely. Okay. <laughs> anyway, as you saw yesterday, if you've been following my videos, I'm not even messing with time tracking this weekend since I've been feeling shitty. Now looking at this, I see even more stickers that aren't straight, but fuck it. What do you do if you have a sticker that you don't put down straight? Do you peel it up and repurpose it or reposition it 800 times like I think I'm about to with this one? Probably shouldn't. It's probably gonna tear the paper. Oh, that's really gonna tear the paper. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna live with my crookedness, holy shit. Do you live with your crookedness or do you try over and over again to make it right only to discover that it will never be right? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.